Why are they so slow? And how do they survive in the wild? Hello and welcome to Curiosity, where we explore fascinating topics from history, science, culture and more. Today we are going to learn about sloths, the slowest mammals on the planet. Let's find out. Have you ever wondered how sloths can hang upside down for so long without falling? Well, they have a special adaptation that allows them to do that. Their internal organs are attached to their rib cage, so they don't press on their lungs when they are upside down. This helps them breathe easier and conserve energy. Sloths also have very low metabolic rates, which means they don't need much food or oxygen to survive. They eat mostly leaves, which are low in calories and nutrients, but also hard to digest. Sloths have a four-part stomach that can take up to a month to process one meal. That's why they only poop once a week, and when they do, they lose up to a third of their body weight. Sloths are not lazy, their slowness is a survival skill. By moving slowly, they avoid attracting predators and save energy. They also have a thick fur coat that acts as camouflage and insulation. Their fur is home to many microorganisms, such as algae and fungi, that give it a greenish tint and help them blend in with the trees. Sloths are not only slow on land, but also in water. They can swim at a speed of about 13 feet per minute, which is faster than they can walk on land. Swimming is useful for sloths when they need to cross rivers or escape from predators. Sloths can hold their breath for up to 40 minutes underwater, thanks to their large lungs and slow heart rate. Sloths are solitary animals that spend most of their lives in the treetops. They only come down to the ground once a week to poop or to find a new tree. They communicate with each other using high-pitched squeaks and whistles. Sloths can live up to 40 years in captivity, but their lifespan in the wild is unknown. Sloths are amazing animals that have adapted to their environment in unique ways. They are not only cute and cuddly, but also smart and resilient. They teach us that being slow is not always a bad thing, and that sometimes it pays off to take it easy. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching Curiosity. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious, 